everybody welcome back to the channel today I am going to be just doing stuff around the warehouse and showing y'all a couple of the projects I'm thinking about so I wanted y'all to choose for me I don't know which one to do um, one of them I've been putting off for like seven months now <laughs> and another one I think is so cute and I want to do some, and it may be fun but I wanted to try some different methods of making it so here's the first one uh dog eerie and here are the colors i wanted to use black and white i hope that light isn't too bright but black and white these three are the mesh that i wanted to use and here is some of the ribbon, black and white. I don't have that much left, but I would have um, this one. I have this one in black and also in white. It's one and a half inch. And then I have this in black and white. And here is my sign. I love this sign. Let's see. Every meal you make, every bite you take I'll be watching you this was my pooch all the way so I'm thinking about making this one I was gonna look and check out some different methods of making it and these were too cute I got these at um, Hobby Lobby and the mesh I got this it was part of my uh, antique mall haul I'm sure the mesh came from like Hobby Lobby Michaels or Joann's and also I did a refresher on Jenny's Reef Boutique channel but I was going to use this for the center and do a flower petal wreath. This is an 8 inch frame. I got this. They come two to a pack at Dollar Tree and then all these meshes. I got this from a craft outlet. And also, I think, um, oh, I uh, think Hobby Lobby. The yellow one, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then the black one. And then these I got from Crop Outlet. But the flower petal or the doggy wreath. And these, I got these for like 30, 30 $35 at Home Depot. A thousand of these. Uh, What's the size on these? A thousand. What is this size? Four inch. Four inch zip ties. And also, I got these at Hobby Lobby. Some little bees I was going to put on it. But the flower petal, total intimidation. I was going to use my wood burner for the flower petal. Uh, flower petal wreath and then I was just gonna I'm thinking about um, on the doggy doing some different styles besides just using my tried and true bubble crumple and uh, curl methods I was gonna look at some different methods to make uh, the doggy wreath then again I might just stick to my tried and true and um, today my sister she's on her way up here she wanted to make her some 4th of July wreaths so what I'm going to do today basically is just chat with y'all for a little bit, help her out with her wreath, and put up, ooh, look what I just saw. <laughs> y'all, I got supplies everywhere. This being here is my fall and valentine and all this kind of uh, all this kind of ribbon and some Dollar Tree mesh. So what I'm going to do is straighten up my supplies a little bit. Uh, I'll be using this from Halloween. I just left Hobby Lobby because I needed to get some of the uh, floral pins to hold down my little uh, center for my floral wreath the flower petal wreath I'm planning to make. I wanted to get some of those 
little floral pants to hold it down into the foam in the back. And they already got their fall stuff out. I was shocked by that. I'm like, it's still May and you already got Halloween and fall stuff out? But they do plan ahead, I suppose. This right here, oh, this is, oh, navy. I thought this was black and white. I was going to use this in my poochery. This, however, is black. Hmm. Another for the pile over there. I might use that black instead of the other one that I just showed y'all. But, um, yeah, I got a ton of supplies all over the place. Uh, all my floral, not floral, all my fall uh, floral and all the stuff that I used to make fall wreaths, I got that stored up in the uh, loft. I also have all my Christmas stuff up in the loft. And I thought about making some, uh, it's dusty. I thought about making some Christmas and July wreaths, but you really don't see too much uh, Christmas and July, uh, Christmas and July like signs and stuff unless you order them online and I didn't want to make just a Christmas wreath uh, for Christmas in July gotta have Santa showing those legs and beach attire but um, what I'm going to do is get uh, my box of wonder here which is basically all the mesh that I've used so far this year uh, that's left over so what this looks like a snake print now that I look at this they would just start their cart as soon as I start a video okay it finally stopped this is a craft project um, I got this at a flea, uh, not flea market, at a garage sale, making bracelets and charm, loop band, uh, stuff <laughs> with rubber bands, so I never have to buy rubber bands ever again. So what I'm going to do is, until I figure out if I want to try that little project i'm going to use those to hold down my mesh once i wrap it up so these are all the different meshes that i've used on projects that have been in that box just flying free i'm just gonna basically put rubber bands on them to hold them down and add them back to my bottom shelf over there that's where i have my open wreath uh supplies over there the open mesh um, whew. it seemed like every single time I do a video, as soon as I hit record, <laughs> as soon as I hit record, next door they start cranking up vehicles or the trash man shows up and starts dumping the dumpster that's like right outside my door almost. <laughs> but y'all, this one broke. I'm just gonna, you know, do some light warehouse chores today. And my sister is extremely slow, so no telling what time she'll actually show up. If she shows up before I finish this up, then I'll help her. And y'all will get to meet her. But if not, she she will be on her own. And I'm gonna go home to my pooch. Um, oh, stretch brand, uh, reading skills, stretch band bracelet loops. So, I got all colors and, and all these. Now, they call it that, I'll call these rubber bands for hair. And then it got crochet hooks in here and it came with a bag of goodies over there. And they were trying to explain to me what it was. 
And I'm like, what in the world? I was like, mm, $3? They're like, yeah, we can do that. Well, why not? And oh, here's some open ones right here. So I'm going to use that one. I don't want to open up these new bags. Just knowing me, I will have these things everywhere. But y'all, don't forget to put down in the comments, should I make my doggy wreath or the flower petal wreath that I have been putting off for about seven months. I um, watched Jenny's wreath boutique, her tutorial on that yesterday. I had seen it before and I just fell in love with it. That's why I bought all the supplies and everything. But then um, in the fall time, I found another wreath that uh, used the flower petals to make a pumpkin on a, one of those pumpkin frames. What was her name? I don't, I cannot recall her name, but her pumpkin wreath with the um, poly burlap was perfection and I did my own version of it and I like it. I sold it at my craft show. I discounted it because it was the first one and I was like, hmm, let me sell this and see, you know, if I, oh, that one just broke. If I can, you know, get some money back to buy more supplies because um, when I started my channel, I wasn't starting the channel. It's like, oh, I'm going to make all these supplies and I'm going to sell them at craft shows and become a millionaire. <laughs> no. I was like, I like doing stuff. I'm constantly doing some kind of project. Constantly. Uh, I'm going to go over all my hobbies with y'all. And usually when I get so many of them, or I let my family hype me up, sell it, sell it. <laughs> then I might, you know, start doing a few shows to sell them. But I never put like a crazy amount on them or anything like that. What's weird is, all the wreaths that I have, y'all know I when I first started out before I did the antique mall haul with all the mesh and ribbon and all that stuff, I was going to, you know, Hobby Lobby's, uh, Michael's, and picking up stuff, you know, Dollar Tree, stuff like that. So when making a wreath, it might cost me $15, $20 just for the supplies. And, you know, people be putting... 60 70 dollars you know on their wreath well since i found you know got all the stuff from the antique mall haul if i basically put a price on my stuff it would be like super cheap like a wreath might now with decorations and everything it might cost me five dollars to make it and if i like 3x that 15 dollars but it takes me like a couple of hours. So usually I make wreaths on video and it, it just takes longer when you're uh, doing a video with it. Because when I'm explaining something or doing something, you know, you go back and undo it and redo it 10 times over because you want it to look good for you or you're like, okay, that didn't make sense. Let me go back and redo it and explain it a different way. Stuff like that. So it takes longer to make it. And, uh, if I just 3x the supplies, these wreaths would be like 15 to 20 dollars. But since I'm putting time into these things, I wanted to make at least, you know, uh, like 50 to 60 dollars for the wreath. That's just if I was, um, you know, posting them on Facebook or something like that. But when I started, like, okay, that event is like 100 dollars or 150. I saw one event. It's a Christmas in July event in Plano, and it's like $300 for the booth for one day, and I'm like, hmm. So I was like, okay. When you start factoring in all that, I would have to sell like five $60 wreaths just to cover the booth, and that's probably about 10 hours worth of, you know, time making them. We start factoring and all that the price goes up at least mine does but Etsy and all that if I put it for the price I want it on Etsy 
it would be it would be cheap compared to a lot of people and then I was thinking about that I was like okay about $75 you know with shipping on Etsy then I was like oh Etsy fees that's about another 10% so I was like maybe I should just price mine you know compare mine what it looked like to other wreaths on Etsy and just you know basically stay within that price range I couldn't do it y'all some of them wreaths I was like okay I, I recognize that ribbon I recognize that mesh I recognize that sign and they had like $175 on it I'm like I'm not charging that much for no wreath. I'm thinking back when I first found out people actually made these by hand and set up back in 2016 when I first started events when I was doing kettle corn. Sandy, she uh, at one of my first indoor events, she was there. I was selling kettle corn. You know, I bagged it up pre-packaged and was selling it at the craft show. And she had home decor, beautiful, gorgeous wreaths. And she was like, I can't sell this for less than $50 or I'll lose money. And $50, $55. We were like, wow. Oh, those are gorgeous. But that's kind of pricey. $55 for a wreath. <laughs> Y'all, this was 2016. And I had never made a wreath a day in my life. And there were all kinds of other wreath vendors. You know, they were like, oh, mine's $75. Mine's is really high end. <laughs> High end seventy five dollars, and it was it, it quality, good looking stuff. And back then, oh, seventy five dollars for a wreath. Oh, I have to think on that. But now, I've seen wreaths that were just really, really, really simple, just simple basic wreaths, and they're going for like sixty dollars. And then I've seen some that were just out there, just extravagant wreaths. And I've seen some just wreaths, just big wreaths. They were like $350. This is on Etsy. And then I saw those garlands. Um, garland swags, door swags. You know, that can go from the bottom of your front door all the way over the top and down the other side. Seen some of those, they were like $750 on Etsy. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so it really depends on the the person um, how much they put into it as in how much they pay for the supplies how long it takes them and also the platform because whatever you're doing if you're selling it on a platform you gotta calculate in their fees and also um, the processing fees for payments and stuff and shipping some of them have free shipping um, because when I was, you know, signing up with Etsy and looking up stuff on YouTube about Etsy, they were seeing um, sellers who calculate shipping into their price and just do free shipping. Those are uh, looked upon more favorably than the ones who charge for shipping separately. That they would basically uh, be shown first or be... Uh, recommended before the ones that had um, shipping separately so I started like okay I'll just factor in shipping well I you know start calculating the size and all that stuff which trips me out it, it, it really does trips me out you can have something that weighs like two pounds and then you can have something well something that's two pounds and just big and then you can have something about this big and heavy and they're like the same price like really but then usually the bigger item even though it's light costs more because of the size and the heavier item you can find one of those uh, flat rate boxes or uh, find one of those third parties that offers shipping discounts and it goes by size more than it does weight but I have a wreath over there that friends and fireworks big mama jama 
And I'm like, okay, that wreath would probably cost, I'm thinking at least 25 bucks to make, well not to make, to ship. Because the box and then the shipping, because of the box size, the weight really isn't, it's probably four pounds or something, if that much. But these are too big. These little rubber bands are just snapping. So I got all of these. This one's new. This will go back onto my new pile. But I need a bigger rubber band. One second, y'all. Okay, I had to get some. I had to get some bigger rubber bands. So I'm through with these little ones, which are good to you know, uh, put on thinner rolls of mesh that's already open. But, um, knock over my trash can. Oh, hold on. Anywho. Oh, it never just broke. Okay. <laughs> but, um, I would rather sell my wreaths at a, you know, basically, if I see a wreath, and I'm like, if I didn't make wreaths, I'd buy that. That type of price. Then have to really up it for prices. And that one broke on me too. Then up it really high and try to sell it at that. Mind you, somebody might eventually buy it, but I want them gone. I'm not trying to hold on to them until I get top dollar. I just want to get more money to buy more supplies and not break the bank. <laughs> so what I'm thinking about doing is cutting the prices of my wreaths on my Etsy shop. And also um, I applied for the Grapevine Farmers Market and I want to set up there but the price that I sell it in person is going to be way cheaper than I would sell it online on any platform. So I'm going to redo the prices of my wreaths and basically uh, I'm going to factor in how much I actually pay for the supplies and also, you know, factor in the booth fee and my time and everything like that. So like I said, uh, some of these wreaths it might cost five to ten dollars to make it depending on you know the uh, signage I saw a sign uh, earlier I just came from Hobby Lobby it was a bumblebee uh, like a beehive and I'm like this is the cutest thing ever we go perfect for one of the 18 inch uh, round wreath frames and I was like oh, I want this it was half price and it was thirteen dollars so six fifty so if, usually for my signs, I pay, you know, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar tree plus tax, or I might pay like five dollars for one at Hobby Lobby, like the one for the uh, the pooch wreath that I want to make. Make sure you vote uh, pooch wreath or flower petal wreath. I paid about five, I think five dollars for that sign. So I don't just stick to Dollar Tree stuff. If I see a sign and I like it, then I'll pay, uh, you know, $5, $6, Basically, about seven to eight bucks is my limit. I'm not going to break the bank just on the sign. So, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. I'm going to have to check to see if um, they responded because I filled out the application, took pictures of it, edited it, and I emailed the pictures of it. And I think I did that like on Thursday, Friday, I'm not sure. And I haven't heard back from them yet. So I'm going to probably give them a call and see if they receive my application. But my date might change because I might go out of town that day. I had two dates on there. One of the dates I might be out of town. The other day, I'm going to do it. So... 
Y'all, as I told y'all, my sister is slow. She takes her sweet time. And she's still not here. So this one, a rubber band broke. So what I'm going to do Y'all know I'm all about the improvising. Doo -doo -doo. So, I'm going to use a Chanel stem to wrap this up. So, I'm going to add these. This can go in the box. So, here's my leftovers. And if she needs to use some um, some mesh, I'm gonna see if she wants to use any of these first. Use these up. These two right here are so pretty, especially this one. It was so easy to cut. It wasn't fraying and all that. I used these for Lucky's memorial wreath. Love these two. And this is left over from my St. Patrick's Day wreath. These are for from the 4th of July wreaths that I've been making. Along with this one. Well, I haven't used this one yet. I was going to plan on it, but 4th of July. This I use for my Mardi Gras. These two I use for my Easter. And my sister used this one to make her Easter wreath. It's amazing how I remembered all that. And this one I was going to use on a 4th of July wreath and decided work with what you got. And these googly eyes, I think I'm going to be using these if I try to make a um, like an insect or animal wreath. Eyes and also Halloween. You know, put eyes all over whatever. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but y'all... That's all I got for y'all today. She did not show up in time. So, y'all remember, please let me know which, which wreath I should do next. The flower petal, yellow and black, or my pooch wreath, doggy wreath. If y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I know, shameless plug, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.